Okay, so just a quick video then to recap how we start a brand new Visual Studio project. So if you go down to your start menu and select all programs, scroll down to the bottom of the list and find the visual programming folder, Microsoft Visual Studio 2010, and then choose the Microsoft Visual Studio 2010 application. Once you click on that one, you'll be presented with a nice pop-up box, uh, which may ask you to choose which settings you wish to use. Um, generally, this only happens the first time you use Visual Studio. Um, but if that does occur, then you will want to select Visual Basic Settings. Okay. Once the program's fully loaded, you'll be presented with this screen. And generally, you'll want to be starting a new project. So when you click New Project, you'll be presented with a further, a further pop-up form. And it should default to Visual Basic Console Applications. But if not, that's what you'll want to select. And we'll need to give our new project a name down here. So I'm just going to call this one Hello World, just for a test. And once you press OK, the new project should be loaded, ready for you to start coding. OK? It's fairly important that you save your project right from the beginning by clicking the Save All button. And we need to just make sure that we're saving it in our H drive. By default, we can see it goes to this address. We just need to click Browse and then go back to our H drive. So if I click on my username just here, into my H drive, and then go and find your AS computing and your programming folders. So I'll just save mine in A-level computing AS just there. Select folder, click save, and you're ready to go with your new programming project.